Hi friends, welcome to Yoga and Creative Movement. We are now in the season of spring. What's happening in the springtime? Can you think of three things that happen in the spring? I can. Our days are longer and the sun is brighter. It rains more often and the plants and flowers start to grow. Come with me on a little springtime adventure. Let's see what's happening. Let's go to the park. In order to get there, let's ride our bicycle. Come down to the ground and lay on your back. Hug your legs in close to your chest. Give a little rock back and forth. Stretch your legs out in front of you. Keep them nice and straight, then bend one. Straight and bend the other. Straight and bend. This is how we'll pedal our bike. See if you can pedal your bike a little bit faster. You're doing a great job. Keep going. We're about to climb a hill. Go a little quicker. Nice work. We're almost there. Keep pedaling. Ah, we made it to the top. Slow your pedal down a little slower. Hug your legs back into your chest. Gently rock forward. Extend your legs out in front of you. Give your legs a little shake. See if you can grab your toes. Can you grab your toes and straighten your legs? Nice job. Let's create a little springtime breathe. Let's create a little springtime breeze. We'll breathe in and out. Here we go. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Keep holding your toes. Breathe in and out. Nice job. This looks like a wonderful place to plant a seed. Take your feet and place them in front of you. This will be our spot where we'll dig our hole. Dig into the earth and take a peek to see if we've dug deep enough for our seed. A little deeper, dig into the earth and take a little peek. Dig into the earth and take a little peek. I think our hole is the perfect size for our seed. Do you have a seed? I have a magic seed right here in my pocket. Hold your seed, place it in the palm of your hand. Gently hold your seed and think of a wish for it. I wish that my seed grows up big and strong. Place your seed into the ground. Give it a little pat. Grow, little seed, grow. I notice over there a picnic table. Let's check out the picnic table. Come to all fours and spread your hands nice and wide. See if you can keep your back nice and flat. Pretend that you have an entire picnic lunch on your back that you don't want to spill. Stay nice and still. Nice job. Next to the picnic table, I see a dog. Let's move into downward facing dog. Spread those fingers and curl your toes. From here, we'll lift up our legs and gently press back in the downward facing dog. Hold here nice and still. If you can, press those feet back a little further. You're doing a great job. Come back down onto your knees and stretch your paws out. 
way far in front of you and rest your head. We'll come back into downward facing dog. Spread your hands, curl your toes, press back. This time let's walk our dog. We'll bend one leg and straighten the other. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. You're doing a great job walking your dog. Nice work. Come back down. Stretch your paws out in front of you and rest your head. Come back into downward facing dog. Curl your toes and press back. Can I hear some puppy barks? Ah, I heard those puppies. Good job. This time we'll take our hands and we'll slowly walk back to our feet. Coming all the way up to standing. Do you remember our seed that we planted? Let's take a peek at our seed. Mmm. I noticed that our seed needs two important things to help it grow. Sunshine and rain. Place your hands down to your side. We'll lift our arms up overhead like the sun. Sprinkle your fingers all the way down to the ground like rain. Tap the rain into the ground. Look up at the seed and come back down. Arms out all the way up like the sun. Sprinkle your fingers all the way down. Give your plant some rain. Look up. Notice your seed. And back down. Arms out to the side. Come all the way up to the sun. Sprinkle your fingers all the way down. Notice your seed. And back down. Come all the way back up. And hands down at your heart. You did a great job giving your seed sun and rain. Our seed has started to grow into a beautiful tree. Let's go into our tree pose. Think of your feet strong rooted into the ground. Your roots are going all the way down strong and steady. Bend one leg and place it next to the other. You can keep your hands here. You can also move your foot a little higher. Stay nice and steady. You're a strong tree. Or you can take your leg a little higher. If you'd like, you can grow your branches up overhead. Nice job, little trees. And come back down. We'll do the same on the other side. Grow your branches. Mm. We'll do the same on the other side. Stretch your roots deep into the ground. Take your foot and gently rest it. You can stay here, little tree, or you can take your foot a little higher. You can also bring your foot all the way up. Nice and steady and still, little tree. If you'd like, you can grow your branches. The wind might sway you a little bit. Hold strong. You're doing a great job. Gently come back out and shake your legs. Nice work. Our springtime adventure is coming to an end. Let's find a quiet spot under a tree springtime adventure is coming to an end. Let's find a spot under our tree to do our star breath. Come back down to the ground and sit crisscross. Stretch your hand out wide like a five-pointed star. We'll use our finger to trace our hand. As we trace up our finger, we'll breathe in. As we go down, we'll breathe out. Ready? Here we go. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, 
Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Nice job. Thank you for taking a springtime adventure with me today and noticing all the things that are happening around us. Place your hands close to your heart. We'll thank ourselves and each other by bowing and saying namaste on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste. See you next time.